Hey, howdy, hey, you got the rock doctor here, and this is Montana Geology. Um, thought that uh, being it being wintertime and all, that might be a good idea to talk some geology at the Maverick Mountain Ski Area west of Dillon, Montana. So here we are uh, up at the uh, uh, top of one of the runs here at the top of the ski area, and those mountains that you can see behind me over there are the East Pioneers and really pretty set of mountains that are part of the Basin and Range uh, extension in this part of the world. Um, I'm in what's called the West Pioneers, and those are the East Pioneers, and the gap between the two of them, which you can see down there in the valley with the trees, uh, is uh, a what we call a graben, a downdrop block that has occurred as a result of extension pulling apart of the crust. So uh, as it's pulling apart, um, there are faults that are ra raising uh, the East Pioneers up, dropping that, uh, that valley, what's called the uh, Wise River Polaris Scenic Byway or Pioneer Scenic Byway, and then uplifting this block of rock over here that I'm on at the ski area called the West Pioneers. All right, well, we're gonna head down the hill and look at some more geology. All right, well, I've skied down to the appropriately named rock and roll, and I did so because it has spectacular views of this glacial topography in the Pi Pioneers. And so what's gone on here is uh, over, uh, two periods at least of glaciation, one about 140,000 years ago, and one about 20 or so, 23,000 years ago, uh, what are called Bull Lake and Pinedale Glacial Advances. Glaciers carved this terrain up and made those high pointy peaks called horns, made those deep gouged valleys, uh, bowl-shaped valleys called cirques, and that beautiful, nice-shaped ridge right there, that's called an arete. Whoop. <laughs> that's called an arete, and that's the Sawtooth Ridge. And uh, over here, that's uh, uh, 11,000-foot peak, Mount Torrey, nice glacial horn in the distance there. And there's a beautiful glacial tarn uh, lake just below it gouged out by the ice descending off of the wall that's that steep vertical wall there. And then as we pan around over here, this is Comet Mountain, which has a big steep drop off on its northeast side as well. Now these mountains, uh, as I mentioned, they were glaciated uh, last uh, about 20, uh, 20,000 years ago or so. And you can see they gouged out valleys that are U-shaped and they left uh, deposits down below them uh, called glacial till. These are these uh, um, lines that you see coming out onto the valley of ridges uh, that are made up of boulder debris that was plucked by the ice and deposited down into the valley. And uh, so this is a great place at the ski hill to get a chance to see alpine glacial topography. All right, well, those mountains are made up mostly of granitic rock. That particular peak right there is actually made out of quartzite um, of the belt rocks, but the rest of this is made out of granitic rock that was intruded uh, during Cretaceous time as a result of subduction of the Fairlawn Plate underneath the uh, North American Plate uh, and we're going to ski on down and I'm going to show you those granites up close.
All right, well, let's get down to the uh, exposures of the Pioneer Batholith, this Cretaceous age granite that it was intruded uh, into the fold and thrust belt here in, uh, and now exposed in the uh, up blocks and uh, called Horse in the Basin and Range topography uh, here uh, in the Maverick Mountain ski area. Um, I'm in the West Pioneers, which is an up block and uh, I've been showing you the glacial features in the East Pioneers. Um, one of the things you notice about the granite, other than the beautiful lichen cover on it, is that it forms boulders. And that boulder shape is a result of uh, an exfoliation process. So as the granite is brought to the surface, um, it weathers, um, it, it spalls off, which rounds the rock. And the other thing that happens is that uh, it weathers along joints in the rock. And those joints then, uh, if they're intersecting you know, joints, they end up forming uh, erosion in from all sides and you get a boulder left behind uh, that has eroded away, which is in place. So they weren't boulders that were rounded by transport they were weathered and formed in place. All right, well, we're gonna ski down and uh, get to the lodge because the day is just about ending and everyone's heading in and uh, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. All right, well, we're done for the day on the geology of uh, Maverick Mountain Ski Area west of Dillon. Hope you've enjoyed it, and it's time for beer, because that's what these folks are doing. Having a good time, right? Yeah. Take care. Till next time.